Milking cows, irrigating with center pivots, and driving combines for four year olds. The Omaha Children's Museum is teaching about the journey from farm to table with their latest interactive exhibit. Lindsay Feast takes us to the farm. Well, we're here today at the Omaha Children's Museum. About every few months, they bring a new exhibit, and this one is one that's pretty close to KFTV's heart. We're a very proud sponsor of this. It's Once Upon a Farm, and I'm joined now with Abby, and you and your son are checking out the exhibit today. Who do we have with us? This is Tommy. Tommy, and Tommy, how old are you, buddy? Tommy, how old are you? Good. You say two? Good. Two, awesome, and you look like you're having a fun time on the cow, having a blast. Um, have you guys had a fun time so far checking everything out here? Oh yeah, blast. The boys are loving it. Yeah. Do they have a favorite part so far? Um, I think Tommy really liked being on the combine up there. Um, Patrick, my other son, really likes to cook over in the barbecue. So wonderful. So something time. for everyone. Oh yeah. Oh for sure. Wonderful. Well, there is something for everyone, but there is definitely a lesson behind this exhibit. Take a look. Well, we're farm people, yeah. so we like it. From a child-friendly combine <laughs> to a custom-made scale of a center pivot. But for kids who aren't familiar with farming equipment or what happens on a farm, I think that it's just so touch and feel, and you get to see everything, how it works, and it's awesome. The Omaha Children's Museum is making learning about the farm fun from now through April. The interactive displays incorporate machinery, water, livestock, and crops that make everything we find at the store and use in our homes. Our state produces and feeds the world, so um, it's a really important mission for us that we can get out there and say, okay, this is how your food gets from the field or, you know, the cornfield or wherever it may be to the marketplace and to the grocery store. And for all those Jim Flowers fans out there, there's even a chance to predict the weather and how it will affect the farm. Eight or nine different varieties. Orchard owners Diane and Bob Fisher brought their granddaughter Elena. Have it play in the tractors and the, all the bales of straw. Yeah, it's really nice. Too many nice. city children don't know where the food comes from, so this is a perfect way to. You know, they drink a glass of milk, they don't realize that's a cow, and that's where milk comes from. Planting that seed of knowledge. At an early age. Back out here at the Children's Museum, joined now by some of their fans. So, what's your name? Who are we with today? I'm Anne Marie. This is Sydney and Hendrick. And Sydney, how old are you? Six. Six. And Hendrick, how old are you, buddy? Two. Two. And are you guys having a fun time at the exhibit so far? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. You guys looked like you were having a bunch of fun. Well, one of the neat things about this exhibit, guys, is they really kind of have something for kids of, of all kind of that early age, whether you're looking at infants or toddlers, all the way up to six or seven. So have you guys had a chance to check out some stuff? Do you have one of your favorite parts? Um, the animals. Yeah, the animals look pretty cool. I saw a lot of pigs. They looked like a lot of fun. You have a favorite part so far, Anne-Marie? Uh, Henrik really likes the big farm equipment, so we're going to go check that out again. Wonderful. Yeah, great way to burn off some of the energy for the little ones. Well, we got plenty of information about the exhibit online. You can check that out at KMTV.com. For now in Omaha, I'm Lindsay Thies for Upfront at 4. And that's awesome. The kids get to do the weather. Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> They've got the combine outside. The kids really like that. They like yeah. to get up there and get close. Every and kid, I think, loves farm yeah. equipment and seeing farms. <laughs> Very cool. Yeah, exactly. If you're going to think about maybe taking in some leaves, I know we're getting kind of in the, um, the latter parts of the best colors, yes. but I'll tell you what, the weather the next several days, if you're heading out in the country, looks really